Hey, morning guys, it's SD. I got a little bit of wind this morning. Here's the Belgrade going. Uh, got the junk cleaned out of that uh, Freedom. Still making a uh, metal grinding noise, but it's not near as bad as it was. Uh, we're getting winds between uh, up to about 8. A occasional gust, maybe 12 miles an hour. But I took that charge controller down and put the classic up here and uh, really happy with it uh, I called my buddy Orlando uh, that makes the Genesis wind turbine and he explained there's a program feature inside here that you're actually uh, going to set the steps in because this can track the power input from your wind generator they call it maximum power point tracking and uh, there's 16 steps in here. Uh, if you imagine each of these steps, like you're shifting a, your transmission when you're going down the highway and you're trying to keep your RPMs up, uh, the more you can keep the RPMs up, the uh, smoother and more power you're going to get out of it and the faster you're going to go. So it has a relationship with the uh, tip speed on your blades and how much input you can get into your system. So anyway, uh, we got into the programming. What I did on one of my uh, past videos, you'll see where I put the little Belgrade Mini on the uh, bench. And I just had some blades hooked up to it and had it hooked up to a bridge rectifier. And um, I was reading the uh, no load voltage output. And I had, I had like 47.6 volts uh, in a, uh, about a nine mile an hour wind. All right, so I, I drew a graph out here. I'm going to try to explain it to you. It makes it a lot easier for what you guys can see here. Sorry if you can't focus on here. Let's see if this is going to come in here. Here's basically your steps. You got 16 steps. Okay, this first one is your factory. The F stands for factory. You're going to have zero amps. And your voltage is whatever your battery voltage is if it's 12 24 48 your next step is how many amps you think you're going to make at whatever voltage now since i knew i hit 47.6 volts i started at 40 here and i put two and then i went uh, each time from here's your amps i went two four six eight ten all the way out 16 steps and then i came up uh, it was I think it was 40 here at voltage and went 40 45 and kept on going all right so once I had that input I uh, saved that to the classic and was sitting in the house and just watching the inputs and uh, here I'm recording volts watts and amps the best I could by looking at the screen and I was getting like uh, uh, 30 30 volts uh, let me see what it is, uh, 54 watts and 2.2 uh, amps. And then I, I will go to the next time when uh, I was getting some input. Sorry about the camera action here, guys. And I got uh, 30 volts again, uh, four point, uh, 49 uh, watts, 2 amps. And I kept going. But I noticed as I was doing this, it didn't want to go above uh, 2 or 3 amps. It was always staying. It was always staying about like 30, 31 amps. I was checking the uh, the watts and uh, looking how many amps I got. And then I went and got the uh, formula just to check to see if something wasn't quite set right. But if you want to check how many watts you're actually making, it's volts times amps equals how many watts. So I actually took these readings and said, okay, I'm hitting. Uh, 30 volts and I hit uh, 2 amps so if you multiply that by each other it actually means you made 60 not 49 uh, watts so that's telling me either this setting at 2 amps or this setting wasn't correct on this graph so I adjusted it and actually came down to uh, from 20 uh, from 45 to 27 it's actually 35 but I kept on playing with it but I found out at 27 volts and only one amp this and I kept whatever that changed from here to here I kept the same change and came up three three volts each time 
and I, and I went from uh, two, four, six, I went from one, then three, then four, and stepped it down a little bit, and played around with that, and then I started seeing the uh, amperage come up, and I started hitting like uh, seven amps at 38 uh, volts. So I had 38 volts, seven amps, and it was showed uh, on the, on the uh, classic, I only hit 174 uh, watts. So I checked that doing the same equation, actually hit uh, 266 watts. So I knew I had another bottleneck, so I started adjusting, uh, again, different settings. Now this is like the uh, third time that I went through it, and uh, the settings are definitely not fine-tuned yet, but they're, they're, uh, they're looking very promising so uh, they do have some factory uh, sorry about the paperwork here they do have some factory uh, settings in there for different uh, well-known uh, wind generators like the Berge uh, even uh, Chris Olson's is in there and uh, uh, Orlando told me the gen that he had the Genesis program the same that uh, Chris Olson's is at but his wind is different, so each person's wind is a little bit different. So you want to program it for what you're in. So you can go off of one of those factory defaults as a starting, but just uh, be ready to look around and try to adjust it, and you'll find out uh, you'll be a lot happier. Uh, I woke up this morning and I was already getting power and, and this light wind. But before I wasn't getting, uh, it'd take like a 10 or 11 mile an hour wind and I was getting some input. Now I'm getting input set between six and eight miles an hour so um, I'm getting happy with it it's looking good classic it's going to be a sunny day uh, for the solar so I should be getting some good power in here I've already got over a thousand thousand watts showing off the solar I gotta move this other camera out of the way so you can see that sorry for this camera action I don't know if you can see it there or not we go. I'm getting a thousand, uh, what, 80 something, 40 amps in off of solar. And uh, the Freedom still isn't putting any input in. Batteries are sitting at 26.5. Brake switch is on. You can see it spinning. It's on the upper one o'clock side of that uh, casing that the blades are mounted to. Every time it comes around, I can hear like metal going shing, shing, shing every time it comes around it. And uh, if you notice, once you get that power curve set on here, look how, how smooth that's going. It just climbs right on through it. So again, it's just like a transmission. You're shifting gears as you're going through the speeds. Once you get that program set right, it takes a little tinkering, but once you get it dialed in, uh, you're going to be looking good. Uh, I'm probably going to take that Freedom down and uh, send it to my buddy and let him play with it. Uh, and he's going to make another larger version of, of the uh, Belgrade and I'm probably going to go with uh, either uh, four or five coils per phase. I don't know which one. Uh, biggest problem I've got, I've got to find some blades that are about uh, four and a half to five feet long for what area I've got in here, uh, you know, my backyard here to work with and then uh, build the setup to match that. Listen to how smooth that is. Uh, hear it? Now, if I didn't have those values set right, you would actually see the blades kind of clog down. It would be really rough for it to try to get through that. It's, it's like the uh, uh, normal charger where the, the uh, wind generator has to fight through the resistance or whatever the batteries. But now that you have uh, that charge controller with that uh, maximum power point tracking uh, it can go from one step to the other and keep on going and, in, and increase the input going into the batteries it's controlling it even though you'll see the battery voltage uh, say it's just it's sitting at 26 volts hopefully that's coming out in the camera and I don't know for sure uh, you could see uh, 40 50 60 80 90 volts on your input and this controller uh, changes it over to uh, what watts and amps is set for by what setting point you have 
but uh, pretty easy this here you just go to, to the main menu you come up into the mode hit enter uh, I've got wind track on but you hit this upper soft key right here and that'll bring this graph up okay now again there's 16 uh, set points on here step one is factory default you can't change it so if you look at step one all you do is hit this arrow right here that takes you to step two and you can start programming in uh, using this button here you can switch back and forth between your amps and then your volts and then just hit this arrow here and go to the next step there's step three step four step five and when, when you're done you just hit uh, save and it'll save that data and then go back to your status menu here and you're back to where you're at before but you don't have to go through every single step you can go to one step and slightly change it as long as it's not uh, at, at the same uh, settings of what you had prior or before okay and then you can save that so say if you want to just adjust uh, your voltage from 35 to 36 just that little change could make uh, your uh, wind generator jump to the next level a lot easier so once you get that setting adjusted you can just hit save and it'll save that all, the whole uh, program all you did is just at one point so it makes it pretty nice uh, I'm like I say I'm no expert on the midnight uh, classic Orlando's really good at it they've got videos that uh, show you how to do this online help you out uh, they go through the buttons pretty quick so I mean you're gonna have to familiarize yourself with all the controls but uh, I'm really happy with this controller uh, it does a lot more and you can get a lot more out of your wind generator or your solar using them than some of these other uh, charge controllers so anyway getting ready to look forward to the next build we'll catch you guys later we'll see ya bye, -bye.